Hey everyone, I am Baus, and today I'm going to teach you how to hack the Battlebox Theater Steam version, because hacking the Battlebox Theater Xbox version just doesn't happen. But anyways, let's get straight into it. I'm going to be focusing on three hacks. IGBP, which means in-game block placement, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, changing your color to non-accessible colors and some basic hacks. So let's just get straight into the basic hacks. So for this tutorial you're obviously going to need Battlebox Theater on Steam and you will need Cheat Engine. So if we look up Cheat Engine, you get Cheat Engine and you need to download it so link in the description to that. And there will also be a link in the description for Baus's Battlebox Theater hacks which is a thing you can run through Cheat Engine, which has all this stuff for Battlebox Theater. So, the first thing you need to do is click this right here, and find Battlebox through your processes list, and open it. And a pop-up will come up saying, confirmation, keep the current address list slash code list. Click yes, if you click no, that will mess it up. So yeah, the first thing we are going to do is change selected block in editor and place anything in the editor. So load up any level. I'll load up this one. And in this level, you have like all this stuff, like a hat and stuff. Like if I try to select it, you can't. It won't let you, right? You've probably, well, actually, you probably not haven't. But for those of you who have modded Battle Block Theater on Steam, you probably get annoyed with constantly having to place like say a slime block or a magma block or whatever it may be in a certain spot and replacing it with like a hat or something because you can't place it in game so like the first one I'll show you is place anything in the editor so if I change this to that's not place anything that's place selected block but if you change it to say the hat which is 88 see now I have the hat selected if I place it it doesn't work but that's okay because we have a solution to that. Now with this you can actually set hotkeys right here if you want to set a hotkey for like making it do something you can go into set and change hotkeys and I've already made one so we can set this one to for example 88 so I've set it to alt so if we just press alt on our keyboard we're gonna get a uh, awful lot of uh, hats and when you collect them, yeah, nothing really happens. But yeah, you, get, you can put as many as you want down. Just change the value to something you can't normally place down. Now, if you don't want to set a value for, for like a for a hotkey, you can just simply change this. Now, if you if you lock this, oh my, it's a uh, it's quite interesting. It's like, oh, 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 I'm gonna place some stuff, uh, uh, what? Huh? Oh, it's placing everywhere! Ah! Ah! I can change it to secret boss. This is gonna be bad. Oh my. Ah, secret boss everywhere! I'm not even doing anything, I'm just moving around. So yeah, if you lock it down, it goes a bit crazy. Oh no! Okay, that's not what. <laughs> what is happening? I can't even see. Okay, that is that is weird. I didn't even know that. But yeah, I'm I've selected a hat and I'm placing secret bosses. So yeah, that's pretty fun to do. So let's just uh, back out of that nightmare, and I will proceed to the other hacks. All right, so now that we're out of that nightmare zone, we can show you the hacks right here. This is infinite jump. Always get A++, start with 99 minutes in a level, God Mode. I will show you God Mode, obviously that's pretty self-explanatory, but it's pretty easy to show you. So, if you have a disc, if you just let it blow up on your head, you won't die, but if I disable God Mode, throw a disc, boop, you die. But if you enable God Mode, a funny thing with the disc is if you enable God Mode, go in any weird spot, kind of launch really fast in the air and then you can glitch yourself into the ceiling and 
do that. So, that's pretty interesting. And then there's infinite jump, which... I mean... It's the most self-explanatory one. But... There's also another really cool one. Which, I suppose I'll show you always get A++, since I could just show you both of these at the same time. So, go in story mode. Don't care. Just pop through, I will proceed to a level. Alright, so now that we are in a level, you can just blow this stuff up. And as you can see, there's a 99 minute timer. So, this can be funny when someone goes in a gift shop and you don't want them to, and you stay in a level for an hour and four minutes. But anyways, that's pretty cool. And, of course, showcasing god mode here, I am standing in water. Now, what? Re really? Okay, okay, yeah. I, I actually did not know you could do that. That is... Okay. <laughs> so I've left the yarn and four gems over there, so that's obviously not going to give you any plus plus. You have to collect everything and get good timing. Now, I did get good timing, but I did not collect all the gems. But watch. Exactly. You always, every time, you will get an A++. So that is pretty handy. Alright, so for our next hack, we are going to hack our favorite color. So you can pause the game or go on the menu and go to options and go to your favorite color. And I just, I already did it, but what you do is set it to really anything. Enable that, sure, whatever. And set it to, I guess, white. And go up here and make sure hex is disabled and all that garbage. And change the value type to byte. It was on four bytes, but we set it to byte. It's under like scan type and all that stuff, so yeah, if you can't find it. And don't mess with hex or any of that. Just change it to all that and search for a value of eight. Now should find it, but I'm not sure. So now change it to that, which is purple, so look for seven. Now there's gonna be a bunch of them changing, you don't want those. Now, watch this. That's the volume. <laughs> I'm control the volume. So now you see one there's changing right there. So if we select that one that's changing when we change this out right here, if you change it to 42, which is what I recommend, it's not gonna do anything there. You go back into player setup. We're already in the game, so if you exit game and start back up something, arena, whatever. Now my color's all weird. Now, do not press RT if you're using a controller. I don't know what the controls are for a keyboard, but whatever that is, only cycle left. And you can cycle through all these colors, and then there's just going to be a ton of invisible, so obviously if I change all this, I'm invisible. Whoa. Look at that, I can't even see myself. The weapons are going to be pretty headspace? messed up, too. The frog is hilarious. I'm, all, I'm not going to spoil all the weapon, but look at this. The frog is just... The frog, dude. The frog is the funniest one! <laughs> look at the frog, he has no hat. Oh, it's so funny. I don't know why it's funny, but it looks so stupid. But yeah, but yeah it's uh, pretty weird. You can't see yourself, so you control people. If you can get used to not seeing yourself... No one's gonna see you, unless you do this. Stars right there, they'll see that, but it's pretty funny. You can change your color to, if you press an LT, you'll get some uh, interesting colors. These are some uh, color of the world colors that are supposed to be just for blocks. But yeah, you can access those too and stuff. And then you get back to the default colors, you can't access them anymore. Oh well. But yeah, that's pretty interesting to do, mess with your friends. But yeah, that's how you uh, change your color to some hacked colors that you can't normally access. Alright, so for the final hack in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do IGBP, which is an original hack by me. I am the original founder of this hack. And what it does is it's it's called in-game block placement. That's what IGBP stands for. So it's self-explanatory, but if you lack... The common sense to understand that, you just got roasted. Hashtag roasted, do not use hashtags. Um, obviously what this does is it places blocks in the game. Which is not normal. You're supposed to do that in the editor. Now, when you do this, 
it's going to be a little bit weird and not right. It's not going to be perfect. So we go into, if we go into one of these levels, I recommend if you want to just start trying this out, go into story. You can go into chapter two, level six, and pop in there, or act two, level three, whatever you want to call it. You will need a level with movable blocks so you can really do any level that has movable blocks in it and cats ignore the cats kill the cats you don't have to have cats so put the block somewhere i like putting it usually right here because it usually shows up but for the sake of you being able to see what i'm doing we'll put it right here so just leave it right there now if you're playing solo the color for this is going to be 0, 09, so enable hex for this and keep the value at byte. And now look for 0, 09. Now, if you're in a co op, it's going to be 0, A. So now we move it away from the spot it was in, which is like right here. And then change your search to 0. It's going to be a lot of uh, changing values, so just spam that a little bit. Then if we drop this back down, you can see there's one changing right there. You could keep scanning if you want to, so, I mean, yeah, that's the one right there, obviously, so keep doing that. There's only one changing. So take this one. Now, if you lock it right here, again, now, again, with, I didn't say again, but one thing I need to tell you is with these, you have to click all these to enable them. I should have said that before, but, yeah, I'll just say that now. Anyways... Lock this down, and you can do some pretty uh, interesting stuff with it. So yeah, we could change it to Golden Hat, and this will count. If you do this in story mode, you will get 10 gems from it. Give your friends a couple too, you know. Just a couple. Oh, that hurts my arm to do that. All right. So yeah, have a couple uh, Golden Hats to share with your friends. Keep collecting. It's not gonna give you a thousand or anything. Now, a funny thing you can do is you can collect a couple gems. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't know how this works. I don't know if this gives you all the gems, but you do the A++ thing, you'll still get all the gems for the levels. So. Yeah. It's pretty weird. <laughs> it's like, oh, you got all the gems a hundred times over. Of course, if you disable it, you only collect one. But if you re-enable it and set it to... I don't know. Darn. It's a darn. It keeps recollecting it. You can also change it to... Yeah, you get a pumpkin pie. In story. It's a, it's a pumpkin pie. You want, you want some strawberries? You want some strawberries? That's not a strawberry. This is a strawberry. Okay. There you go. Strawberry. Whoa. Crazy. But yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this hacking tutorial, you can like the video if you want to. I'm not going to be a like beggar like practically everyone else. You can subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to be a beggar like everyone else. You can comment if you enjoyed it and want to see part two, because I do have other hacks I can show you. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial. But yeah, again, you can comment below and all that stuff if you want to see more. And also, the IGBP, which is this thing, um, I am the original founder of this hack. So if you see someone, if you see someone claiming this as their own hack they found, call them out on it. Now, if you think I'm the one who stole it, look at the upload. I don't think I need a golden hat. Thank you very much. But anyways, um, if you see someone copying this and like saying, Oh, it's mine. Look at the upload date of their video and then compare it to mine. Because I just really don't want anybody stealing this. Just be sure to alert me on that if you see someone like, Eh, this is my original uh, thing here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, be sure to tell me about that if you can. That'd be, that'd be awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And I'll see you in the next tutorial or whatever video you watch. So yeah, play the outro.